Steve Wilson. I'm with Cool Clyde. This is the first DJ to ever scratch on wax right here, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I can't scratch. This how I scratch, but this how he did it. The first. All right. Worldwide, you dig? DJ Cool Clyde, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. White folks, I have some very bad news for you. And don't hate me, I'm just the messenger. I mean, it's the worst nightmare has come true. It is the end of the fricking world. White folks, there will never, never, never be a white president. Again. It's over. It's over. <laughs> it's so sad. It's ever, ever. I've been doing the Jesse Jackson for two days. <laughs> Did you see Jesse crying? Was Jesse crying or trying to take a crap? <laughs> no, it's so sad. And I see some of your little white faces. You don't believe me. I'm telling you, it's over. End it. You'll never, ever have a white president again. You know black people's record. Once we take over, we take over. And you know, you know that better than we know that. You know our track record. You tried to keep us out of baseball. We got in, we took the fuck over. You didn't want us in the heavyweight championship. You didn't want us. We got in, we took the fuck over. We take over. Basketball, we took over. Football, we took over. You can't keep us out, we'll take over. You know that. We fucked up your tennis. We took over. We fucked up your golf. We took over. Come on, keep it real, white folks, we took over. There's no stopping us. All you have left is swimming. Swim, white people, swim. Swim while you can. Because the black seal is coming. Swim. Swim. Once you vote black, you don't go back. Yo, this is Rob Six. I'm just gonna run in full pride and like the lake. First DJ, right here. Right here. First we put live scratching on on the album. This whole thing with elections, this whole thing has been the funniest thing on earth. My God, the way they fishbowl and critique Obama. He can't go to the bathroom. Did he wipe? What is he doing? How is he doing? Is it true? Is it isn't true? Is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? He ain't been in there a hundred days. Just on him. And I want you guys to notice, when this election came, this is the words that white people leaned on on that television, that radio. President-elect. I never heard that expression so much. President-elect. President-elect. What kind of message was they sending us? Don't get that excited. It hasn't happened yet. President-elect. When that white man get in the office, he's either the president or the next president. President-elect. President-elect. And Obama is a gentleman and he's a very nice man. The things that came out of people's mouth, the things that white folks said, the selection stuff was crazy. Now they got a new black dog up in the White House. Bo. That is so funny, because Obama's daddy was named Diddley. Yes, yeah, so it was some very funny shit. Some Bo Diddley shit. That first black dog, when Obama got in the office, that little black dog started biting everybody. He said, tell that little black dog he can stay. The white folks gotta go. He started biting everybody. The selection's been crazy. Obama was perfect for America. He was. He is, not was, he is. He's perfect. He has those big white man ears. He looks like Malcolm X. He talks like Martin Luther King. 
Oprah loves him. And he shits apple pie. He's perfect. See, for black people, voting's always been racial for us. White folks, this is your first time for race, not ours. Even when we couldn't vote, it was always race. Does he like colored people? Does he like Negroes? Does he like black people? Does he like Afro-Americans? What can he do for us? And this, white people, this is the first time it's been racial for you because you have the complexion for the protection for the collection. The white skin protects you. And this is your first racial trip, and it drove you crazy. So if race drives you crazy, imagine how crazy we must be. Dealing with goddamn race. And black people, you've been blessed. God has been so good to you, black people. He has. You should thank Jesus, thank God. God's been good to you, black folks. He gave you Obama. He gave you Obama. Oh, don't feel sad, white people. You got OJ. Finally. (laughs) But this was a win-win situation for black people. We could win either way. We were gonna party either way. If he won, we was gonna party. If he lost, we was gonna party. Because this has been interesting for us and exciting. And if you can't understand the win-win situation, let me break it down for you. What was the little black tennis player's name? What's her name? Serena. When she played her sister, remember when she played her sister? That's a win-win situation. I went to sleep, because I knew when I woke up, somebody black had won. That's a win-win situation. You are checking out my man, Who Clyde. He got his own show. He's the first DJ to scratch on wax. Look at this, he got a racket. Old as hell. Right. You think black people got excited over the OJ verdict. We went crazy. I don't know about Texas, but in New York, we were up and down the street. We were hollering all night. Obama beat your mama. Obama beat your mama. We went crazy. I went crazy. And everybody stopped saying, Obama's half white. Obama's half black. Is he white enough? Is he black enough? Obama is half African. There's a difference. He's half African. You've got Kunti Kinti up in there. You don't have Toby. What goes around comes around. He's half African. And that makes a difference. I love every minute of it. I love the news because he's all over it. It's like watching BET all day long. Black man is running America, and them stupid pirates, don't they know a black man's running America? You can't take a black man's boat. Yeah, they got shot. You can't take a black man's boat. You know Obama said, shoot him, shoot him. It's the best, it's the funniest, it's the damn best. I love every freaking minute of it. Black folks, black folks, they finally buried James Brown. Ignorant ass James Brown. I miss me some James Brown. Anything James Brown said, we love. Popcorn, wow, yes James. Kool-Aid, wow, jump off the bridge, shut the door, wow, James, wow. James Brown. Black don't crack, black don't crack. James Brown aged so well. James Brown looked like an old black Chinese woman. Black don't crack, black don't crack. Tina Turner. 10 minutes older than dirt. She's 10 minutes older than dirt. You see on the Grammys? Did you see on the Grammys? She looked like her skin. She looked like she's 12. She wears sizzlers, mini skirts with 12-year-old legs. Some 12-year-old sitting up in the hospital. They didn't stole my leg. (laughs) Tina didn't got them legs and gone. Remember that movie Thunderball she did with Mel Gibson? Mel Gibson was older than her. Mel Gibson looked like her grandfather. Tina still looks the same. She looks good. 
we lost Ike. You know we lost Ike. In the hospital, Ike begged for Tina. Tina, bring Tina, 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 bring her in here. I want to slap that bitch one more time. Buddy. <laughs> Tina wouldn't go. Tina wouldn't go. <laughs> Tina said, what death got to do with it? <laughs> and the Grammys made the mistake of calling Tina queen. You know about it. Ooh, you know who was there? You know who was there? Aretha. Aretha. That big bitch was pissed. She's big as a duplex. And just titty, titty, titties for everybody. Titties and hats, titties and hats. She was pissed. I was there, I tried to help her. I said, Aretha, chill, chill. You're the Dairy Queen now. Hats and big titties. Now, I am a southerner, Louisiana. Now, I'm getting ready to tell you how dumb white southerners are. Texan, okay, you guys are some dumb motherfuckers. You could have won that fucking war with your dumb, stupid ass. You had the army, the slaves. Stupid. We'd all be with the southern flag and singing do and all that shit. You would have won. You had the army. You let the fucking north outmaneuver you. They put them black men in those uniforms and they beat your fucking ass. You had the army. You had more blacks than they did. You motherfuckers could have won. You could have won this shit. But your stupidity, no, no. He's not human. No, I can't do that. But your dumb ass. But that white man's always been slow and dumb. The world is flat, you'll fall off. Watching movies with no sound. We've always outsmarted that white man. He took our drums. You're not gonna communicate, there'll be no more beating of the drums. So we made up tap dancing. He thought we were entertaining him. Meet Harriet Tubman at 10. We leave in this month. Hey, how you doing? It's Jeff Fox, and when I'm not uh, doing my thing on 107.5 WBLS, you know, I gotta check out my man Ku Clyde. It's the Ku Clyde Show. He's, he's an award winner. He's an award winner. And I'm here with Clyde. Yeah. yeah. Rihanna and Chris Brown, what happened? Oh, I was telling you about you got it, you got it, you got it twisted. That that woman, that woman beat the shit out that boy. I hope he go to jail. He'll be safe. She beat his ass. That's why. The, that's why the boy bit her. You bite when you're scared. Mike Tyson bit that man because he was scared. You bite when you're scared, man or woman. You'll bite. That girl beat that boy. That's why he's back with her. She said, I'll beat your ass. You better come back. <laughs> Them island girls are slick. They smart. She got a big forehead. She was foreheading him, bumping him, hitting him, hitting him. It don't leave scars. Look, have you ever seen a professional fighter, a boxer, black eye, all beat up? The person they beat is damn near dead, knocked out. She won that fight. And she called her friend Naomi. You better be glad Naomi didn't get over there. She told Naomi, get over here, bring your cell phone. We kicking ass, we kicking asses. If Naomi would have got there, that boy would have been dead. You got it twisted. You could tell by her song something wrong with that girl. Bella, Bella, the girl was crazy. Is Whitney coming back? Is Whitney coming back? Is she coming back? Is Whitney coming back? Bobby has a toe-off book. He said that Whitney got him on crack. And he said when he was going out with Janet, she had him drinking. She made him a drunk. Then he said he dated Oprah. She had him eating biscuits and syrup. <laughs> Ooh. 
Whitney tried to come back. Didn't she try to come back? I, 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 I. Didn't she try to come back? I, no. no, she's singing. What is she singing? No. Pledge of to the flag, right? Oh, say, and you. <laughs> By the dawn's early. <laughs> To proudly we Let's talk about that whore Barbara Walters. Oh, you think I'm being cold. Didn't you read her book? Sleeping with that high yellow married brother? Breaking the seventh commandment? You all think I'm being hard. Any married women here? Married women, if a single woman fucks a married man and she knows he's married, what is she? See? 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 You single women ain't said shit because you could have been that hoe. American Idol, is America that bored? Are we that bored? They will fight you. They know who they want to vote for. In the real election, they don't have any idea, not a clue. But in American Idol, they'll argue with you. It's a hit. And that Paula Abnegro, she wants to be everything but black. I just want to get a microphone and go on that set and go, nigga! And watch her go, Randy? They're talking to you, dog. And these diseases, where did these diseases come from? They're on TV every day. Where, I mean, what, what is it with your hand? Topo, what is it? Copper tunnel, okay. Alzheimer's, what? Uh, dyslexic, what's some other shit? There's so much, arthritis. What up, dementia, that's all kind. Where, I wanna know, where was all these diseases when we needed it, doing slavery? Hey now, this is Stuart Grodian, better known as Howard Stern. And you're watching DJ Cool Tide Show, First Man 2. Put Scratch on vinyl, the originator, the one, the only, is the man who started that. Worldwide. Worldwide. That white man is crazy. He done fucked up the ozone, he done fucked up all kind of shit. That white man is insane. He spends all billions and trillions of dollars trying to go to space. God has put you here already. Earth hangs in the middle of space. You're trying to go where you already are at. You're hanging right in the middle of space. You're here. <laughs> Silly shit. He just fucks up everything. And then he runs around talking about, oh, the endangered species is the polar bear. There are only two left. That's such bullshit. You know who the endangered species is? The young white woman. Go to the movies, watch TV. Who, did you see Friday the 13th, all that shit? Who was he trying to kill? The young white woman. That's the dangerous species. Hollywood tells the world, kill that bitch. Kill her. Watch TV, I'm, I'm not making it up, watch it. Kill her, kill her, she ain't shit, kill her bitch. Raper, killer, murderer. Choker. That's what Hollywood sends out all over the world. That's why white women all over the world come up missing. Susie could be sitting right next to you. Susie? Su 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 God, Susie was just here. Where is she? They can find all Susie's shit, but they can't find her. Isn't that Susie's car keys? My God, it's her yearbook. Susie? My fuck with Susie. That's who the endangered species is, the young white female. Because that white man does not know how to say, I don't love you, goodbye, it's over. That's not in his vocabulary. You are sleeping with the enemy. He wants to fucking kill you. And the white lady will be pregnant and get bold. I'm carrying your baby. And you'll find her and that baby in the river. She'll walk her dog, the little dog will come back wet. That should tell you something. and see that white man, a little dog will get crazy. 
The white woman is the endangered species. White woman, get you a black man. A black man knows how to say goodbye. F fuck you, I'm out of here. But that white man, while that white lady sleeps, that white man's up measuring her. While that white lady sleeps, that white man's up building shit. Oh, you think I'm bullshitting? Go to Home Depot. They're out of duct tape. That white man will drive home with a brand new station wagon. We're going on a trip. <laughs> While we sleep, that white man will take that white woman to the darkest, deepest part of the woods, and she'll bitch. Lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. Lions, she's scared. And tigers, and bears, oh my. And then she'll look that white man right in the face. I'm scared. He'll look her right back in her face. You scared, I'm scared. I gotta walk back by myself. <laughs> she ain't coming back. And that white man can act, he can act. They'll go straight to his house. <laughs> Becky's missing. Really? <laughs> he would have chopped Becky up and put her in a shoebox. <laughs> and act like ain't nothing happening. Well. If she calls, I'll call you. <laughs> Don't look at me like I'm making this shit up. You've seen that white man on TV. He'll talk so crazy, like he's about killing the white women, like he's shopping at the mall. Oh, I stabbed her, I cut her, I went by Helen's house. She was lucky she wasn't at home. And then I... <laughs> but you have to give it up to that white man. That crazy white man knows what to say in that courtroom. Yeah. Crazy white man. <laughs> Why did you wake up in the middle of the night and kill your wife? <laughs> I was sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? What an unusual case. We're gonna have to study it. Crazy black man, why'd you kill your white man? I was sleep sleepwalking. We're gonna put you to sleep. There'll be no more sleepwalking. <laughs> Crazy white man, why did you wake up and kill all five people in your house? <laughs> I'm five different personalities. Five different people. What an unusual case. We'll have to study this. Crazy black man, why'd you, I'm five, di five different black people? Just pick what black person you want to be. Somebody black's going to jail today. I was renting a white woman a house. She did that same shit to me. I'm five different personalities. I said, bitch, I'm raising your rent. I got off into that pocketbook. She got real sane. Sir, they all moved away. It's just me. I said, yeah. No, it's, it's the end of the world, it's the end. Everybody then went crazy. The school teachers then went crazy. They arrested another school teacher with an eight-year-old in Mexico. What is wrong with these school teachers? You're supposed to teach the kids, not fuck them. I tried to figure it out. I said, we don't pay them enough money. We don't. We don't pay them enough money. So the so the school teacher says, you're fucking me, I'll fuck your kids. Because I get tired of people fucking with our kids. These people just killing our kids, raping them and murdering them, and then saying, I'm crazy. You're not crazy. You have choices. You know what you're doing. That ain't fucking crazy. Crazy is sitting in the middle of the freeway and eating a bowl of dog shit. That's a crazy person. That's a crazy person. That other shit is bullshit. You know what the fuck you're doing. When they rape and murder my six-year-old, I'm gonna show you what crazy is really about. I'm chopping somebody's head off. Yeah, now that's crazy. And I'm taking it to the bar and talk to it. 
give me a scotch and soda and give my friend here a beer. It's gonna be on cops and you're gonna be sitting there going, that man is crazy. White people, there are no ghosts. There are no ghosts. If there were ghosts, slaves would come back and beat your ass. You do know that. So only, only the white ghosts get to come back? There are no ghosts. You know who I miss? Because I guess I've been, black, I've been black too long. You know what I miss? There's two things I miss. I miss the hippie white people, and I miss the uh, Jews that were brave. Jews went down south and died with us. They did. What happened to them brave Jews? No, they were, oh, you said, oh, they all dead. Did you find them? They killed them all. No. That's some sad shit. And then the Madoff, or what's his name? Jews, Jews stealing from Jews. And non-profit. And it shows you how sexist that white man is. He stayed out of jail with something around his ankle for the longest. And then he went to jail now, okay? And that white woman, Martha, got a tip. Wait, that bitch woke up in jail. They took that white woman what? Straight to jail, that's that boys club. They said, look bitch, we run this shit, you're going to jail. When we do it, we get a pat on the hand, a little bracelet on the ankle, but you're going to jail, bitch. Took Martha straight, but it backfired because Martha ended up making all the money. But Martha went to jail looking like Hobo Kelly. And that bitch came out looking like Grace Kelly. Martha looks good. But that Hollywood, Hollywood is a perpetrator for all the bullshit. I'm here to tell you. Hollywood puts them images out. Hollywood is scary. I'm so sick of Hollywood trying to tell me what little ugly white woman is cute. I'm not Stevie Wonder, I know cute when I see it. Genesis! Boogie Black!